Welcome to the Roll From Reporter segment of Impact. This week we're celebrating Women's History Month by profiling Marsha Mortimer, a woman who's using her passion for history to make a difference in the capital region. Marsha, it's wonderful to have you on our show. Thank you. Uh, talk to me about um, your passion. Where did it begin? I, um, my family's always been a member of Dirty Memorial Amy Zion Church. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother came here from um, Philadelphia in 1930 and she brought her part, most of her um, 18 children with her. Wow. <laughs> well, I think at that time she may have had 14. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But she brought them here. Um, initially they lived in New York. Mm -hmm. um, they lived in New York City and then they came back, they came to Schenectady. Mm -hmm. My grandmother graduated from Edward Waters College around 1919. Okay. They did not, um, would not hire her, so they um, always were maids and butlers. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they came to Schenectady, they relocated to Schenectady, and they joined Dury Church. Mm -hmm. And I you know, was part of that church um, when I was a child, and then, you know, you go wander off. Yes, <laughs> yes. But, you know, I found my way back home in 1996. And then I learned all about this history. Mm -hmm. And I had a beautiful mentor, James Stamper, okay. who was really, um, you know, he said, you know, document it, document it. And so that's what I started doing. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my, start. I started with the church mm -hmm. because our church is the oldest black church in the city of Schenectady. Wow. Uh, we were established in 1837 by Isaac Grote de Yee. Mm -hmm. So, th you know, that's that began. And then, you know, I kept looking for other, at other things. I joined the Historical Society and they gave me really good tips. I went over to the City Hall archives and they gave me great information. It was Wonderful. A, you know, so, you know I kept, the more you look, mm -hmm. the more you find out about. So this year, I'm, you know, when I did my um, black history presentation at um, Schenectady County Community College, uh -huh. um, I learned more about the um, blacks who fought in the Civil War from Schenectady. Mm -hmm. They fought in the 26th Regiment, the colored troops. Wow. Their training was at Rikers Island in uh, Canandaigua, mm -hmm. New York. And what was really interesting is that they... Um, they left from Israel Amy Church, mm -hmm. so Amazing. you know it's just it's, so it just keeps growing and growing. And uh, initially, there was one headstone, mm -hmm. Civil War headstone, Jared A. Jackson, mm -hmm. who fought in the Civil War. He is he worked on his, in his family's business on uh, um, in Bethlehem. Uh -huh. He joined the Civil War, fought in the Civil War came back to Schenectady, he moved to Schenectady after the Civil War. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it, it, it's just so much. So we're thinking it's just Jared A. Jackson. Yes. Then we find out it's William Childers, uh, Peter Sampson, uh, and the fourth person I, I, um, I don't remember right mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. um, because I, there's just so much information and yes, you just get so caught yes. up in it. Mm -hmm. But uh, William Childers and Jared A. Jackson are part of the Civil War uh, mm -hmm. Memorial. Yes. And I have to thank um, Matt George, who's mm -hmm. a uh, Civil War buff, yes. and um, Cora Schroeder, who were helpful to me. Mm -hmm. And Dr. McAvoy and his wife. It just keeps growing and growing, yes. and more of the community mm -hmm. but is providing assistance to me. So that's been a blessing. I think that is wonderful that you have this passion. And then, because when you have a passion and it's real, mm -hmm. it takes you down paths of unexpected, you know, treasures and to find that there are you know we had the history said there was only one but we're discovering that there may be four or even more of these men who left family left home left church and community yeah. and went to fight for yeah. our nation yeah. and you know they're yeah. they are the uns unsung heroes yeah. you know of our generation who our generation need to know these things mm -hmm. and need to understand yeah. how brave yeah. these men were and how strong they were to go fight for their nation connected the has a rich history mm -hmm. when it comes to African American stories yeah, yeah. and tales. Mm -hmm. Now you have taken your passion for history to a new level, <laughs> and I, I, and the, just the smile of it, I know this is another big passion of yours. Oh, I'm excited. And talk about this new project that you're doing right now. On April 27th, we're mm -hmm. going to have uh, show this play, have a play. Mm -hmm. It's called "We Are Our Brother's Keeper." Yes, because when no matter how much research I did there was always a common denominator, mm -hmm. Union College. Oh. For example, you know, a Union College student founded our church. Mm -hmm. He bought the property. He helped us build it. Wow. When the public school district opened in 1854, uh -huh. they had a dilemma. What are we going to do with these 37 colored children? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Duryee said, 
you're going to rent space from the, the, the African church because mm -hmm. our church name didn't change till the 1890s. Uh -huh. So he, they rented space from our church. Mm -hmm. So in 1855, we became the first free black school. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's really, um, you mm -hmm. know, and the, then you've got Chester Arthur. Mm -hmm. And then you've got William H. Seward. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody thinks about him with, um, you know, Seward's folly, him buying Alaska. Yeah. He was a really remarkable individual. Mm -hmm. He... Um, Represented a black and Af Native American gentleman for murdering his master. Mm. He lost the case, but he was the first attorney in the United States of America to introduce the insanity plea. Wow. So he said he killed him because he was crazy. Mm -hmm, but, you know, mm -hmm, what it mm -hmm. was, he laid the foundation for other attorneys to use that yes. defense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the, those little things. And he was a good friend of Harriet Tubman. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. How do you get Bob? I, I I call I know they're abolitionists, but I mm -hmm. still call them the early civil rights. <laughs> yes, exactly because they were. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what happened one day? He was you know riding um, his horse, and this uh, slave woman was having dilemmas trying to get her horse across the river mm -hmm. because of the turbulent water. So he took her to, back to her master and tried to explain to him, and he was really nasty to the two of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think I'm looking at the play is going to be a reflection mm -hmm. on. What made them do? What was yeah? What was the them? thing that made yeah. them do the what yeah. they did? Yes. So the characters are going to be President Ephelet Knott, mm -hmm. Isaac Grote Du Yi, mm -hmm. um, William H. Seward, Chester Arthur, yes, um, and Moses Vining. Mm. And if we're lucky, we're going to have a surprise guest. Wow! So wow! Know. Wow! But it's going to be. I think it's really going to be a compelling because mm -hmm. it's going to be educational as you sit back and watch these men reflect on their lives. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's scheduled to be at the First United Methodist Church. And, wonderful, you know, so wonderful. So I'm, I'm excited So about how long that. is the run? Um, it's just going to be one evening. Okay. If things turn out, you know, we could do it again. Yeah. You know, I have to talk to the gentleman because mm -hmm. one of the, um, uh, we've got um, Joe Doolittle. He's, um, uh, he, he's an actor. Um, uh-huh. We've got um, Reverend David Heisey, who just retired, and he's yes. going to be. Mm -hmm. And then we have Simon Carnes. And nice. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we're going to, it'll be background music. Yes. We've, we've got the choirs and individuals that will be singing. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. So it's really exciting. And the, the play is free and open to the public. You know, we just want to educate mm -hmm. and, and inform. Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. Because it's not... We should never emphasize Negro history. Mm -hmm. We should emphasize the Negro in history. Yes. And that, Carter G. Woodson said that. I love that, the Negro yeah, in, in history. history. <laughs> and Maya Angelou says, bring in the gifts that my ancestors gave. Mm -hmm. I am the dream and I am the hope of the slave. Yes. I rise, I rise, mm -hmm. I rise. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, there's certain, th you know, quotes from them that really keep me going and keep me, you know, grounded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's not about, um, it's about, a rich history that we have yes. that we need to document, mm -hmm. you know, and inform people. You know, it's not good enough that Marsha Mortimer has done this. Mm -hmm. We have to do this together. And that, yes. And that's what I'm seeing. Dr. McAvoy will look at things for me and do things for me. Um, Matt George, he sent something to <laughs> Mr. Uh, Professor Matthews in, mm -hmm. at Orniana. So there are so many people that are involved because it does, you do catch fire. Yes. My ultimate dream is that more youth become involved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm really excited. Um, we do a lot of volunteering during Black History Month. I said, <laughs> we've got to do succession planning. <laughs> we have to get other people involved. Mm -hmm. Friday, um, on behalf of the Schenectady Silhouettes, I'll be um, speaking with the Youth Build and the AmeriCorps Youth. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing I want to get to, that, you know, are you available for lecturing? Are you available <laughs> to, you know, because it's, you know, when you have a passion, it becomes a tree, and it has <laughs> limbs, and it takes off in its own life. Yeah. And so I see this, you're a player right now, yeah. and now you're going to be coming a lecturer, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm putting you out there. <laughs> So our, if you are available, how can people get in contact with you? Marsha, period, Mortimer, M-O-R-T-I-M-O-R-E, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Wonderful, wonderful, yeah. yes. Now, is there anything else you want to let our audience know? Let's tell me again, where is this event and what, when is this event? Uh, the play is going to be April 27th, mm -hmm. 6 o'clock p.m., Saturday evening, mm -hmm. uh, at 6 o'clock p.m. at the First United Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I... I 
could not do what I'm doing without the community. Yes. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention Laura Linder because she helps, mm -hmm. or Melissa mm -hmm. from the Historical Society, yes. Cindy from the City Hall Historian. Everybody, this is taken on, the, it's a community activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I ha they verify my research for me, and yes. you know, it's just been a blessing. Mm. And you know, the community has made it easier for me to do my research. There is so much. Mm -hmm. And they said a lot of the times they did things in Schenectady because there was a welcoming um, atmosphere for wow. race issues to, mm -hmm. to deal with to race deal issues. To deal with them. Isn't well, that think, amazing? Think about it. In 1835, 42 Union College students signed a letter supporting an anti-slavery convention in Utica. Wow. What made them give the, what, they, they had courage. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. what made them? And then when President Washington, he came here and he was walking down the street and mm -hmm. a black person tipped their hat to him. Amazing. And so he tipped his hat back. And the <laughs> white man says, why are you doing that? He's just, mm -hmm. he said, I would be less than a gentleman if I did not mm. acknowledge his courtesy. Yes. But I found all this information at, you know, the Historical Society and mm -hmm. the City Hall Archives. Amazing. And then the 1841-1842 phone book, mm. they have one. But you could d distinguish the people of color because they're, they're, their names were written in italics. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but they <laughs> have it. I encourage anybody mm -hmm. to go They ha to the Historical Society. Number one, they have genealogy sessions. And mm -hmm. so in May, um, the doctor, the Schenectady Silhouettes is mm -hmm. celebrating 55 years. And that is why, one of the reasons we're doing the play, because mm -hmm. that's part of the Schenectady Silhouettes 55th celebration. Mm -hmm. But you've also have, um, you know, there's, um, there's, there's just so much. Yes. And I, you can't sit down and say it in one sitting, but I think people are going to enjoy this play. I think they're going to be educated. Mm -hmm. um, and you know we have to have our music because, yes. you know, we're such a passionate <laughs> people. So... Um, I have a friend. Um, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be beautiful. Oh, Marcia. I mean, you just mm -hmm. if people want to be educated and just really look at Schenectady in a different light, they're gonna enjoy this play. I think it's wonderful. I mm -hmm. think what you're doing for this community mm -hmm. and for the African American culture, mm -hmm. and uh, on you know to see that we were educated people, mm -hmm. we were people who were learned, and and you know to just see that. At that time, in the 1800s, and you know, and all those times where you think, okay, you know, people are not educated, all of that. Here you have proof. Mm -hmm. Here you have history mm -hmm. that is coming alive to tell the story yeah. that this, in fact, was reality, mm -hmm. and to show that you know people were fighting, people mm -hmm. were conscious of what the situation was, mm -hmm. and making a stand to say we will not live this way. We want better for ourselves, mm -hmm. and we demand more. You know, so I think you are doing a wonderful job, and I just Thank love you. your passion. <laughs> I just love your passion, and I know it's going to take I you much further. History. Yes. <laughs> well, Marcia, it, it's been a pleasure having you on the Rover Reporter segment of Impact, and we know we'll, we are going to bring you back again because, you know, you have so much more to give and so much to inform us with. I hope people come out to this concert. I hope it's packed out oh, and I that you have so. no choice but to take it to the next level. Before, I, before we end, Mm -hmm. I have to talk about Julia A. Foote. Okay. She was born in Schenectady in 1823. Mm -hmm. And she um, went on, became the first African American um, female uh, ordained deacon in 1894. And then she became the second elder of the Amy Zion Church in 1900. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She had an autobiography that yes. was published in 1879. It ran The Pluck from Fire. Mm. But she started in Schenectady. Amazing. And by 1836, her family wanted to, um, you know, attend church with people of color. Mm -hmm. So in 1836, they moved to Albany mm -hmm. and attended Israel Amy Church. Ah, another popular. But she's from Schenectady. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to, I want to do something next year focusing on her. I was going to suggest that, but I'm <laughs> glad you mentioned it. <laughs> And mm -hmm. maybe next year we focus on the women. It is. You know, yeah. and to bring them to life. Yes. In no, their story. I'm excited. Yes. Yeah, I have yes. a picture. Mm -hmm. And I'll email some of that stuff to you. Thank you I'm, so I'm much. So, no, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful. Okay. It's wonderful. Thank you again for watching the Roven Reporter segment of Impact. I'm Holda Thompson, your host. Again, with Marsha Mortimer, a woman who is making local history come alive in our latest production that's coming in. April 27th. On April 27th here in Schenectady. Please check her out, check our work out, and thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.
Proctors, bringing the best in arts, education, and entertainment.